co-founder, Alisa Mercer. In today's world, almost any human shortcoming can be resolved using technology. The shortcoming we aim to tackle is a lack of mental visualization. Hi, my name is Alyssa Mercer. I am the co-founder and CPO of Floor Show VR. Each year, a ridiculous amount of money is flushed down the toilet simply because reality didn't quite match up with the picture customer had in mind for a home renovation or property acquisition. This is where we come in. Floor Show VR is a virtual reality-based home renovation and property viewing solution. It shows any and all changes to a customer before anyone picks up a hammer and lets you tour as many properties as you could in a single day without even leaving your couch. By compressing timelines on both sides so decisions are made faster and with more visual clarity, at its base core what we're offering is the most precious commodity of them all, time. This is an enormous market. $324 billion was spent in the renovation industry last year alone. The last five years have had a steady 4 to 5 percent growth. However, we extend much further than just home renovations. We can take a simple blueprint of any space and turn it into a 3D and VR compatible model, which in turn makes our market considerably more expansive. Our business model is simple. We have a do-it-yourself app with multiple tiers for ease of access, as well as a behind-the-scenes agency that tackles any larger projects or those requiring just that much more customization. Unlike Lowe's Hollow Room or IKEA's Kitchen Demo, both requiring a $700 to $800 tethered headset located only in their stores, we come to you, no insanely expensive headgear required, and we offer 3D customization on an unparalleled level of quality. Our solutions are compatible with devices ranging from Google Cardboard to Oculus Rift and everything in between. We also offer web-based solutions for those who don't like the VR headsets or would just rather browse from their desktop. These other businesses are merely skimming the surface. Floor Show VR is diving into the deep end. We already have several demos ready to go, and uh, every business who's seen what we've had to offer has been thoroughly impressed. Please ignore the big blank screen as our images didn't transfer to uh, 4.3. We're currently working with Dow Tile and Texas Door and Trim, starting some projects on uh, ranging from virtual showrooms to virtual reality-based dream home creation. We're also working with Alto Partners and Tech Wildcatters, taking their headquarters and transforming it through virtual reality. I'm part of an incredibly talented team with an array of specialties ranging from interactive game and art design to 3D modeling and VR and AR technologies. Together, not only are we changing the game one renovation and property acquisition at a time, but we're also out to change the way the world views virtual reality. Even though it's a relatively new technology, its main purpose up to this point has been in the video game industry. While that's all well and good, we're ready to bring it out of the gaming sphere and into everyday real-world application. So let's talk timeline. A month from now, we'll be launching our full beta on the Do-It-Yourself app. Three months later, we'll be adding additional features and bringing on new customers. And in six months, we'll have our full first release ready for purchase. Now here's where you come in. We're currently looking for strategic marketing partners as well as smart referrals for potential clients. We're hoping to aim, or we're aiming to raise enough capital to where we can equip our team with the right software where we can offer a level of excellence for every client, no matter the job, no questions asked. We are Floor Show VR. Let us elevate your blueprint. That, that was flawless, which makes me think she might be a robot. <laughs> she, didn't, she didn't, like, miss one. Yeah, no, I have the same feedback. That was a beautiful pitch. Thank and you very included much. included all the really important elements, so congratulations to you. Um, you. I do want to know if you have any early traction, and, and tell me a little bit more about how it's different than 3D modeling stuff I can already do. Okay. I mean, I get it high level, but I want tell me what's going to grab me and go, no, this, this is it. So... Thanks to HGTV, everyone and their dog is all about home renovation right now. You see those shows, the Property Brothers and all that stuff, and everyone's real excited about it, but a lot of the fear going into one of those projects is not knowing how it's going to turn out. Um, now, there are pro programs like SketchUp and, and AutoCAD and things like that, um, but they don't offer the immersive quality that VR offers. So seeing an image of 
let's say you're booking a hotel. Seeing that hotel room online never really quite matches up whenever you get in the room. So this is going to bring you directly into that space. It can still do the experience on my computer, right? It can't, we can do on the computer, but uh, where it really takes off is whenever you start getting into the Google Cardboard, the Oculus Rift, and actually using the headset. And the, uh, the do-it-yourself app um, really, really puts uh, the power in your hands. We're using real-world SKUs, um, so real flooring products, and we'll actually tell you who makes the products and where to go get them. Can you talk a bit about uh, the client experience, how fast it, it takes to get up and running, whether it's the web app that the individual uses for themselves or mm -hmm a client like Daltile or any of the partnerships that you're currently developing? How fast are we getting a room to look? It really depends on the project, um, but the turnaround time is significantly faster than you would expect. Um, we, how large is the TW headquarters? 8,700 8, square feet. Um, we did a full custom, everything down to the furniture uh, recreation of their headquarters and the turnaround time was a week. Um, that was also a little bit of a learning curve time too. <laughs> so um, there, it depends on the project. Doing a room like this, we can get it to you in, within the week. If we were to do the entire library, it would take a little bit longer. But the turnaround time is sub sig significantly faster than you would expect on the service side. Uh, and then the do-it-yourself, it just, however quickly you press those buttons. <laughs> I had a question, more of a technical one. Um, as far as accuracy, as far as where stuff is going, mm -hmm. could you, do you use like a BIM model and then kind of overlay what the customer wants as far as flooring and tile and that? Um, so the easiest way for us to build a space for you is gonna be using a basic blueprint, but we also have a capture team that will come in and take photos of the space if a blueprint is unavailable and take basic measurements. Um, so there's a few ways that we can really do it. Um, the fastest and seemingly easiest way thus far has been using a blueprint, which are really readily available, which we thought we were gonna have a little bit of an issue with, but every space we've modeled thus far, they've had a blueprint just ready to go. So um, we basically will import that into our agency software and just build it up from there. Why VR and not AR? I'm sorry? Why VR instead of AR? Uh, we will be moving into AR. Uh, we are waiting for the technology to kind of catch up with our ideas. So uh, we're starting in VR, and there will be an AR overlay, and then eventually we will be in AR. I will definitely be looking into that. Thank you. Is yeah. there? Oh. Okay. Is there a method by which developers can subsidize or provide the software to a consumer at f for free to say, hey, go ahead and build the craziest room you can dream up. We'll be happy to build it for you. Um, that we actually are going to be touching on that. We are hoping to um, eventually hold contests with whoever can build the craziest room using Texas Store and Trim products gets X amount off of their home renovation. And we actually um, have already been working with some vendors um, who are very excited about that community aspect and getting people to get excited about building their new room or changing their renovation. So we actually have plans uh, to go in that direction. I'm glad to hear that other people are excited about that too. <laughs> so is there a uh, cost inbuilt into everything like this? So everything that you add, you know that you're spending so much money because I know you're renovating a place, but is there, is there a cost factor that gets displayed for everything that you add into it or delete from it? And I will give you my card and I would love to set a time to speak with you later. <laughs> Thank you so much. And there is a lesson to be.